Well, I, I'm a regular uh, plasma and blood donor. And so uh, it was, it, I, I've done that uh, for quite a few years. And uh, one night when I was laying on the couch, getting ready to go to sleep, um, I always look at Google News before the end of the night. And uh, the top story on my news feed was a lady in Saskatoon that needed a kidney. And she had a billboard on her back, the back of her car. And it said, uh, kidney needed, share your spare and her phone number and her blood type and the her blood type and my blood type matched and it was almost like a light bulb moment and uh, i knew i had to at least uh, give the number a call and just to see what the process was like debbie's husband uh, answered the phone and uh, i just explained uh, who i was and why i'm calling and uh, debbie called me back um, a few hours later gave me all the information i needed the, the next day I gave the Saskatchewan transplant program uh, a call and uh, they got me on the, on the road to uh, getting to put a, filling out all the paperwork and uh, then getting starting the testing. There's no benefit whatsoever to the donor, obviously emotionally and, and spiritually, but physically you're putting yourself through an incredible trauma for somebody else. And uh, it, I spent the month just kind of thinking about that. And uh, the day that the, the surgery came, it was a whirlwind, like waking up and, and uh, heading to the hospital and, and checking in and getting the, the bracelet and waiting, what, again, what seemed like an eternity in the, in the hospital, like the OR waiting room. All I remember in the OR was laying down on the, on, on the operating table and I didn't even have a countdown. It was it was so quick. I was out, and then uh, four and a half, five hours later, I woke up and uh, I saw my wife as I was getting wheeled out of uh, the recovery. And uh, very dopey uh, high five I gave her. It was again surreal, sitting in the hospital room, um, realizing that my gosh, it's done. Like five months, six months of of testing and waiting and preparation, it's done. And yeah, it was a very surreal experience. If it weren't for the scars on my uh, abdomen, I wouldn't know that I gave a kidney because uh, I, I feel amazing. Uh, my energy levels were a bit low at the start, which is understandable, but it, it bounced back, I bounced back right quick. All the difficulties and discomfort in, after the surgery and recovery, every time I see Debbie and my, my recipient, I just say, it was all worth it. This is like a little bit of pain and discomfort for her to get a second chance at life. I wouldn't change it for the world. And uh, I was saying to somebody today that uh, I went to visit Debbie in the hospital uh, after her transplant surgery. And uh, we were both still in the hospital. And I asked her if somebody came and did her makeup because her skin was totally different, like shockingly better. and. Uh, it was, uh, um, again, surreal to, to see that drastic transformation. You don't have to just donate to friends and family or somebody you know. And uh, I donated to somebody that I know now, but the, I think the people that donate to people that they'll may never meet, that's next level. In Saskatchewan, we have uh, like a registration on the internet and uh, people can just go online and search for uh, that registry and uh, sign up to be a deceased donor too because you can you can help save multiple lives just by that simple filling out that questionnaire online.